The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. As of now, we're kind of surrounded by rain. We've got rain to the north and to the east. We have rain to the south. We have rain to the west. We've got one storm system down. One more could swing through here later this evening into the overnight and provide us a few more showers, especially into areas along and west of Interstate 77. But the real problem is coming from a storm system that is way still far away from us. You're looking at uh, a line of thunderstorms extending from near Nebraska through Kansas and Oklahoma. This is some really, really nasty weather and these showers and thunderstorms are really packing a punch from Wichita south towards Oklahoma City. Along this line of uh, thunderstorms, we've got uh, uh, several tornado warnings and several severe thunderstorm warnings, so it's a mess right now in areas close to Manhattan in Kansas, home of Kansas State University. All right, friends, there's a high risk for severe weather uh, for this evening for areas of uh, southern Kansas, also into central parts of Oklahoma. Okay, this is issued uh, when you have an especially dangerous storm system brewing, and we have just that along the dry line uh, in the Great Plains. Oftentimes you have the threat for long track tornadoes, and tonight you have the threat for baseball to softball size hail. The last high risk that was issued from the National Weather Service was about a year ago, March the 31st of 2023, and that day we had 163 tornado reports. So without question, the highest threat for severe weather for the rest of tonight going to be well out to the west of us. That threat does get closer to us on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Still looks like both of those days, the highest risk for severe weather will be over the Ohio River Valley. I think our greatest risk for severe weather here for the rest of the week here locally will lie Wednesday evening through the day on Thursday, and I would not at all be surprised if we issue a weather authority alert day for that time frame. Uh, it's a little too early to do so just yet, but uh, certainly we see the computer models and it's something that we're preparing to do. Future tracker shows that by midnight there will be the chance for a few showers again, mainly along and to the west of the I 77 corridor. As those showers move east, the general trend will be for them to fall apart and fall apart quickly. Otherwise, Tuesday at 7 a.m. we start out the day dry with some sun after about 1 2 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. We're going to start to see some popcorn showers and thunderstorms developing coverage area tomorrow looks to be smaller than today, but any storm that forms tomorrow afternoon early tomorrow evening could pack a punch and then we're going to dry out tomorrow evening, allowing for a pretty dry start. Uh, to our Wednesday with the exception of maybe a couple of showers Wednesday morning. Wednesday during the daylight hours looks to be pretty quiet. As a matter of fact, Wednesday is going to see some sunshine, okay? The next bout of severe weather that we can uh, can potentially deal with here will come into play, I think, after about 9 p.m. Wednesday evening and then last for us all the way through potentially Thursday afternoon. So Wednesday evening through Thursday, that's when we could have some nasty storms again pushing back in. Upper air patterns such that we're going to continue to have that chance for a few lingering showers even into Friday, but Friday is much, much cooler. That cold front is really going to cool temperatures down for us here late this week into the weekend. Saturday's for the most part dry, but then Saturday night into Sunday we'll have the chance for more isolated showers. Looking ahead to Mother's Day weekend, temperatures again going to fall into the upper 60s and lower 70s. So uh, temperatures tomorrow, middle 80s. Temperatures Wednesday, upper 80s, upper 60s, lower 70s. Follow that by the weekend. 69 right now in uh, Lynchburg, also in Roanoke. 70 South Boston, middle 60s in the NRV. For tonight, the showers do taper off. Off. Maybe a few more developing along the I-77 corridor late this evening. Overnight lows tonight, upper 50s, lower 60s. For tomorrow, warm and humid. Hit or miss thunder showers develop after the early afternoon hours. For the most part, tomorrow we're in the 80s. Higher terrain will likely uh, be in the 70s. Your extended forecast. 88 Wednesday to 71 Saturday to 69 on Mother's Day. Right back up to 74 next Monday. Unsettled weather pattern for us here this week, although it's not going to rain all the time. Please understand that. A few more showers possible for us here this weekend. Again, looking at Mother's Day weekend, Saturday night into Sunday. That looks to be the wettest part of the weekend, and even then, it's just isolated showers.